using AWS Code Commit with Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.319.1. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Other than that, I have not set up anything in AWS. So that's where we're going to start. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a specific IAM user that its whole purpose in life is to be used by Jenkins to connect to code commit. So I'm going to click on users. I'm going to create a new user. The name of this user is going to be Jenkins code commit. I'm going to select access key and not the console access, so just access key. For my permissions, I am going to select attach existing policies directly. And the policy that I want, I'm going to filter by code commit. And I'm going to use, for my example, AWS code commit power user. You might use something different, but for this example, this is what I want to use. Next up, I'm going to click over to tags. I'm not going to define any tags for this user. And what we see here, username, programmatic access, permissions boundary is not set, but the manage policy is AWS code commit power user. And let's go ahead and click on create user. Now I have my user an access key ID and the secret, but I don't need this access key and secret. In fact, I'm going to disable it in just a couple of moments. Let's go ahead and go back over to code commit and let's create a repository. So I'm gonna click on create repository. My repository name is going to be Jenkins example dash CC. No tags, I'm not gonna select code guru reviewer, just leave that blank. I'm gonna click on create. As this creates, it shows us a couple of things here. We're going to be setting up two different jobs, one that's using HTTPS and one that's using SSH. So we'll have to set up our credentials a little bit differently for each of those. But before we even get into credentials, let's go ahead and add a file to our repository. And this example file is just going to be a very simple Jenkins file that I'm going to copy over. So we'll paste this in. The file name is going to be Jenkins file. The author name is going to be my name. I'm going to put in my email address and no commit message because that's the way that I'm rolling today. Okay, here we go. There's our Jenkins file. It's on the main branch and everything looks pretty good here. So now what we need to do is figure out what our credentials are and how we need to set up our credentials. So I'm gonna click on clone URL because there is a connection step which takes us back to this page. In order to interact with HTTPS, we need a Git client, which we have on our controller. We also need an AWS commit managed policy attached to the IAM user, which is our Jenkins code commit user. So again, we've done that correctly. Now we need to create Git credentials for the IAM user. Now we haven't done that yet, so let's go and do that. So I'm going to go back over to IAM and I am going to pick the Jenkins code commit user that I just created. And from here, I'm going to click on security credentials. If I go ahead and scroll down, we'll go below the access keys. In fact, I'm going to make this inactive because I'm not going to need this credential at all. Good, good security. We see that we have SSH keys for AWS code commit. We'll come back to that in a moment. But what we're wanting to do right now is have HTTPS get credentials. So I'm going to generate credentials. I'm going to copy my username and put that over here on the side so I don't forget it. And I'm also going to do the password. So I'm going to copy my password and again, put that off to the side. And we're going to say close. So now I have my Jenkins code commit HTTPS get credentials. Let's go over to our controller and let's create our job. So we're gonna say new item. The item name for this one is going to be cc-https. I'm just going to do pipeline for this one and click okay. 
If I go down here to my pipeline definition, I'm going to change it from SEM. I'm going to change my SEM to Git. My repository URL is going to be the Git repository, which is right here off to my side. There we go. So this is the Git URL. In fact, if you don't know where that is, let's go take a look at it for ourselves. If I take a look at code commit, and I select this URL, I can click on clone URL and clone HTTPS. So I'll just copy that one. And just to make sure that it's really not working, we'll paste that back in. It's the same one. And what we can see here already is that it's complaining you don't have access to this repository. We're getting a 403, which is what we would expect. So let's add a new credential. It's going to be username and password. My username is going to be my Jenkins code commit, but it's not just that user. It's the HTTPS get credentials user that was created. So it's Jenkins code commit at and then a string of numbers. I'm going to go grab my password. And the ID, I'm just going to say cc https and do the same for my description. Click on add. Now I'm going to select this credential. Watch what happens to the error. The error is gone. So what that tells me is that we successfully authenticated against that repository. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We'll change our specifier to main. And our script path is Jenkins file, which is the name of the file that we put in the repository. Let's click on Save. And click on Build Now. And if we watch this, what we will see is that we obtained the Jenkins file from this Git repository. So since we obtained the Jenkins file, we know that we successfully authenticated against the Git repository. And we can see here that we have our echo hello world. So this job, authenticating via HTTPS, finished successfully. Now what we want to do is go and set up SSH credentials so we can create and authenticate via SSH. Let's go back over to our AWS console. We will go back to IAM user. We'll go back to our Jenkins code commit user. And finally, security credentials. And let's go down to SSH keys for AWS code commit. I'm going to upload a public SSH key that I already have. And the contents for this are just going to be my public key that I've already generated. This was just a basic RSA public key that was generated a while ago. So I'm going to upload this public key. But notice what was generated here. We have an SSH key ID that follows the AWS key naming convention. So I'm going to copy this and put it over in my notes. Now what we want to do is we want to go create a pipeline job that's going to authenticate using SSH. So let's go back over to our controller. We're going to create a new job called cc-ssh pipeline. We're going to click OK. And this time, pipeline script from SCM, once we select Git, we need to get the repository URL, but we need to get the SSH clone URL for this. So let's go back over to code commit. I'm going to select this repository, clone URL, and I'm going to clone SSH. So now that's been copied. Let's go back over to our job. I'm going to paste this in. We can see that it's SSH, and then it follows the rest of the path. Watch what happens when I tab out of this field. Again, we have an authentication error, permission denied, public key, because we have not set up credentials yet to actually authenticate against this repository via SSH. So let's go down to our credentials. I'm going to click on Add Jenkins. We're going to change the type of credential to SSH username with private key. Now, here's where it gets interesting and probably not what you would expect. I'm going to go ahead and set the ID in description to cc-ssh. Those are fine. It's the username. So what username should we use? Would it be the username that was associated with the private key that I created? No. The username 
is the AWS SSH key ID that I saved off a few moments ago. So for the username, I'm just gonna paste in that ID. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in my private key, which I have stored off here to the side. Okay, so that's that. And that key has no passphrase. We'll go ahead and click on add. Now, as I select this credential, watch what happens. So CC SSH. Now we can see that our access message went away. So we're going to assume that everything is okay up to this point. Change our branch specifier to main. Script path is still Jenkins file. Click on save and click on build now. What we'll see here as the job starts up is that we obtain the Jenkins file from Git using SSH. And as we scroll down, the job completed successfully. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.